Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to take a look at who has your name in their mouth that you're not thinking about. But before we go ahead and get into that reading, I do want to invite you all to book your own personal private session with me at www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find the link in the bottom um, of this video in the box below this video. Also, I would like to invite you all to subscribe and follow to my other social media sites, which you can find in the description box below the links to those. Okay. So yes, we are going to go ahead and take a look at who always has your name in their mouth that you don't think about. We are going to start with the zodiac sign cancer and then go through each of the 12 zodiac signs and end with Gemini so feel free to watch as many placements as you would like that pertain to your other significant birth chart placements for each of the zodiac signs okay so let's go ahead and get in to the reading starting with those of you with significant placements of cancer in your birth chart we have the nine of swords here so this could represent um energies where there are people who have significant um air placements in their birth chart and i'm also getting earth okay so it could be people with significant placements of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in their birth chart, as well as Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then we also have the energies here of the zodiac sign Scorpio. Um, we also have the energy of someone who you may be legally going through a separation from, um, as well as just someone who is experiencing some type of legal issues. So Cancer, it feels like these individuals um, who always have your name in their mouth that you don't think about feel that, um, I feel like they think about you constantly, okay? Um, so you seem to, you know, be on their mind constantly. Now, I'm really picking up that it's not necessarily good things that they have to say about you. I feel like for a lot of these individuals, um, what I'm picking up is if they had the opportunity to do things over again, they would essentially not interact with you entertain you or meet you um so like in the instance that this is a love interest right who has your name in their mouth that you used to deal with i feel this individual's perspective is that if they could go back in time they would not entertain you they would not they, they would choose not to um see you to go on a date with you to um be in a relationship with you they would avoid you and then i'm also getting business wise these are individuals that are feeling like um they would not entertain your business um your services or your goods if they had the opportunity to do it all over again some of these individuals have felt like you have been bad for business so um either partnering up with you doing business with you or frequent frequenting whatever type of business that you may have i'm also just getting as well too um that these individuals feel like you play a lot of mind games you could be very manipulative and then um there's just something about like these individuals feeling like you give them like a headache or they feel that you get on their nerves and then i'm also seeing that um these individuals feel like you over promise but under deliver next okay so for those of you with significant placements of leo in your birth chart we have the seven of swords so this could be individuals that have significant placements of aquarius libra gemini air placements in their birth chart um, we also have the zodiac sign reiterating that air energy of libra here okay um we have a brother energy so this could be your brother or someone else's brother a grandpa energy um we could have someone who's um going through the grieving of a death um, we could uh, we have someone who you could be divorced from okay and we have a boyfriend energy so your boyfriend or someone else's boyfriend okay so for some of you Leo um, these individuals feel like you sabotage their career like someone could feel like they had their dream career or they were making um, they were living a very beautiful comfortable luxurious type of lifestyle and you sabotage this for this individual 
okay for others of you i feel like there's a situation where someone feels like you sabotaged a relationship um in a marriage so in some instances this could be um individuals feel like you were the mister or the mistress um the third party individual that came in the middle between them having a happy home and a happy relationship um but for others of you this could be someone who you were actually in a relationship with and they kind of feel like you you stole that from them like you wasted their time they looked at you as someone who they thought they were going to have this relationship with but it it didn't go the way that they had hoped or wished for and then other individuals are saying how you are a copycat and you're not original and how you stole their business ideas and business models. Next, we are taking a look at of those of you with significant placements of Virgo. We have the Sun card here. So with the Sun card being here, this is very strong Leo energy. Okay, so this could be someone who is a Leo. Um, but we have the energy here of an ex-girlfriend okay so this could be someone who you no longer are dealing with in some form or fashion okay virgo so this individual um these individuals are saying that you are the reason why they don't trust other people so um specifically like if this is an ex of yours okay because I do have ex-girlfriend um, or it could just be an ex I guess for some of you all but um, they're saying that you're the reason why they don't trust individuals okay um, so I feel like these individuals feel like they have like they're guarded and they have trust issues and it's hard for them to let people in um, their life because of you okay and then as well too um what i'm seeing is these these could be people who speculate a lot about like what's going on in your personal life um the things that you don't say it's like they try to read between the lines of what's going on um in your like your marriage if you're married or in your home or in your private life and then i'm also seeing these could be people like um back from like your hometown or people who live in your current community okay that could be talking about you or are in certain like communities that you are a part of okay and then some of these people are talking about your mom okay is what i'm seeing i'm not sure why this is coming up in your reading but i guess because it's related to you i guess once they talk about you they they associate you to your mom so unless you're maybe some of y'all's moms or virgos or has significant placement of virgo potentially but anyways i'm seeing your mom here come up in conversations that these people are talking about as well too so some of these individuals are saying like um that your mom is a hot mess and that um your mom pretends to be like holier than thou or something like that i'm seeing this could be your family members as well too um, that could be talking about you and then I'm also seeing you know there being talk about your career or whatever you do and it not lasting long or how much longer uh, individual you know these individuals feel like that you will be able to I guess be successful at whatever it is that you do next now we're taking a look at those of you with significant placements of Libra in your birth chart so for those of you with significant placements of Libra in your birth chart, we got the Queen of Wands energy. So this is my Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So it could be individuals with um, significant placements of fire in their birth chart. Um, very strongly Leo, Sagittarius energy. And then we also have um, a Mistress, Miss Tart energy. So put that how it fits in your life whether this is you in this role someone else who you are entertaining that has this role or just someone else who is the mr or mistress of somebody else okay this feels very strongly like this could be for those of you with significant placements of libra in your birth chart where you are women but either way i'm getting um individuals really heavily focused on like your sex life okay and they could be talking about either um for some of you they're they're talking about when are you going to settle down and have kids 
okay um or when are you going to settle down and like marry someone um for some of you you do have kids and these individuals are talking about the number of kids that you have okay some of them are talking about how you don't know the father to your kids or at least that's what they're saying you may know who the father is they may be talking about that you don't know who the father of your kids are um i feel like some of them are looking at some of your kids and they're trying to like speculate i'm seeing someone like calculate like who you were with what the father looks like and your kids look like so it's like someone's trying to piece together something with you and your kids i guess it's essentially speculating that whoever you're saying is the father of your kids is not the father of your kids and then for other others of you they're talking about like the fact that you have not settled down and um married and had kids and then for others of you it's, it's just the fact that they feel like you keep um having kids and not settling down and getting married and then there's people who I guess that you have blocked on social media, okay, or you turn some aspects of your social media to private and they talk about that. I feel someone asked you some type of personal question, you blocked these individuals. Or you turn something on your social media to private and that's what they're talking about. And then there's some people trying to figure out like why you and your husband separated or divorced or something like that. Like I said, for a lot of y'all, I'm getting a very strong energy. This is for Libra female energy, but if it applies, great. Um, and then lastly, what I'm seeing as well too, <laughs> I'm seeing um, some individuals feel that you are very sexy they feel you're very attractive i feel there's some individuals that would want to i guess wife you or husband you up and want to shoot their shot at you so that could be some other things that that individuals on the lighter note are talking about okay so for those of you with significant placements of scorpio we have the queen of cups card coming up so this is water sign energy but i'm i'm getting more strongly um, Scorpio and Cancer energy of these individuals okay and then it's it's like there are individuals who are single okay um, who are talking about you okay I'm also getting people who may have like grudges against you um, or they're holding grudges against you they're holding some type of animosity grudge or ill will or resentment type of energy towards you now for some of you which is um i feel like energy we've been getting for you all um some of these are people who you don't even know okay and i feel they have a misconception about you and they constantly talk about you though but they don't know you um, for some of you, these are individuals who are constantly talking about like your sexual preferences. Okay. And I'm getting a very strong energy around like the opposite sex. So whatever your sex is, it's the opposite sex that's always talking about like your sexual preference. Okay. So for some of you as well too, I'm seeing there are individuals who want to know, I guess this, there's confusion around, um, if you're in a relationship or not. So there could be people wanting to know if you are available or if you are single. Um, I'm also seeing there's strong ex energy here as well too. So there's exes that are pressed that you don't talk to anymore. And, um, they there's a lot of energy of people talking about your love life these are a lot of people who feel like shoulda woulda coulda they missed out an opportunity with you um literally getting these are people who, who sometimes cry themselves to sleep um and they drink a lot besides that i'm also seeing um there are people who including these exes that make up like very elaborate dramatic ass stories about your sex life um but that seems to be the topic 
hear a lot it's like people love to talk about (laughs) oh my goodness people love to talk about your sex life is what i'm getting so i feel like there's a lot of imagination strong imagination and dramatization that people put into these stories that they talk about like the number of people who you've been with the number of miles on your cooch and i guess on your uh, eggplant for some of y'all next so for those of you with significant placements in Sagittarius in your birth chart we have Aquarius energy here with this king of swords it could be other individuals with significant placements of air strong Aquarius energy is here we also have the energy of people who are in like your inner sh- in your industry or in your career field um, and then someone's boyfriend okay there's someone boyfriend that's talking about you but i feel like um some of these individuals i feel like they could be a better version of you than you are you so there it seems like people are talking about like the way that you do things um and it's, it's, it's almost a sense of like well if they were in that position this is what they would do type of shit so okay so i'm seeing individuals um I feel like they talk about for some of you I'm assuming this must be for females they are speculating that some of you have a sponsor okay so they talk about how whatever or however you're living your lifestyle that you must have a sponsor because you can't possibly afford to do whatever you do off of whatever career you have so they're speculating that you have some type of sponsor okay Um, They talk about your just choices that you make in general. Okay, they watch everything that y'all do and they try to see who you're communicating with. So I'm seeing um, they're always talking about like what you're doing or posting on your social media sites. Um, They could also be individuals who avidly like uh, stalk each of each and every social media account that you have Um, i feel like for those of you um whatever you're doing whether you you feel like you're at the top of your game or not these individuals see you as being someone who they like i said again they want your position they think that they can do what you do better than you can so they plot on ways to try to um sabotage you so they can have your spot essentially um i guess they assume that by them sabotaging you that they're automatically just going to get your blessings because that's what it looks like these individuals um talk about like the things that you have coming towards you what you're going to do next your your destiny things of that nature they they talk a lot about this and then lastly i i'm seeing a lot of individuals like essentially link up who you don't talk to anymore um because the fact that they have simply betrayed you and um they never have apologized to your face for this um i don't think that they will because there is victimization energy here so it's like they want to play the victim um as to why you don't talk to them anymore so it could be like they come together off of this likeness and befriend other individuals who you who have done the same thing to you so they find something in common with those individuals by you know talking about the fact that how you switched up or um how they don't like you i guess because you don't deal with them but it's because the fact that they have betrayed you and that's what they're not sharing they try to make you to be the problem when they don't take accountability or ownership for exactly what they've done so these are people who come together off of uh sharing you know woe is me type of delusional stories where they only tell part truth as to why um you don't mess with them um but they're very loud and clear about why they don't like you and why you're the problem though next 
Okay, so for those of you with significant placements of Capricorn in your birth chart, we got the Justice card here. So very strong Libra energy. So this could be someone who holds very strong Libra in their uh, birth chart. We also have the energy here of um, co-workers. Okay, so this could be people who you work with um, or people in your work industry. Okay, I also have the energy of Grandma. So maybe some of y'all don't fuck with your grandma no more or somebody's grandma is talking about you. And then um, we just got the energy of female energy here. So it could just be females. OK. Or maybe females who you want used to talk to who you don't talk to no more. But yeah, females. And then we also have the energy of people who are still holding on to um, wanting I don't know if they want the closure. I feel like there has been closure. I just feel like they are not accepting that things are done and over with you. So I just feel like whoever these individuals are, it doesn't even have to be X. It could be any type of individual where you where you're no longer like dealing with these people or you're no longer associating or involved with whatever these people or these energies are. And it's like they just won't accept the fact that it's over. Like it's done, it's over. <laughs> like there has been closure on your part there's been closure but they won't they won't accept that okay i'm also hearing defeat so there's people who won't there's people who will not de accept that defeat okay okay um for some of you okay this is interesting so i feel like for some of you in one way or another however you pulled your energy back from some of these individuals um, I feel like you caused like tower moments in these individuals life which essentially means that these individuals had to realize um, th th there was some type of epiphany or realization that they realized once you pulled your energy back so it's something that these individuals had to wake up and see maybe it was something that they didn't want to see maybe it's something they didn't want to accept I'm getting acceptance energy here again I feel like for some of y'all there's situations in these in some of you your cases that people I'm getting like delusional energy okay fantasy energy mirage illusions dream state type of energy so maybe some individuals were living in some type of facade fairy tale type of energy and once you put your energy back from a situation it's like reality hit these individuals and they didn't like the reality is what i'm getting <laughs> so i know it's kind of like general and vague but i mean i feel it would be different depending on whatever y'all situation is however you pulled your energy back or whatever you pulled your energy back from in these situations where whatever area of this life was i just feel like you made people see some type of reality that they didn't want to accept oh yeah and then that's the other thing i was getting that so some of these are teachers as well too so these could be like former teachers that some of you um had that are still that are still talking about some of y'all um as well too so i'm just getting a lot of like for some of you all there there these are teachers and then in some instances these are just people who feel like like they still see you in some type of like immature baby or child type of state so it's like some of these are individuals who can't like accept the fact that you like have matured or that you've grown up or that you're an adult for some of you um is what i'm getting they're not th it's like they don't accept the fact that you are an adult and you're making adult choices so i feel like these are a lot of people i keep getting sun people want to sun you okay like they want to they want to continue to treat you like you're a little child like a little kid so these are people who are not um and we got four 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 on the clock so these are people who are not like um accepting the fact that you're an adult is what i'm getting they still look at you as like a little kid okay or they look at you like a student or like a novice or something like that they don't it's almost like people who don't want to see you as like they're equal okay or maybe the fact that you have exceeded them in some type of way 
and then once again i'm getting this energy around you all which i feel i picked up in a different reading for you all but it's essentially like how you got to your role or the position that you're in it's like people trying to debate about this or, or or they always debate about this um like why you're in the position that you are how you got to the position that you're in if you belong there or not let me see yeah and then there's something about your pay so there it's like people talking about like how much you make I feel people don't feel like whatever you do that you're worth whatever you're getting paid is what I'm seeing okay so those <laughs> those of you with significant placements of Aquarius in your birth chart we got the princess of wands energy so this is giving um fire sign energies they, they could have some placements of fire in their birth chart so aries leo sagittarius the other zodiac sign energy we have here is aries energy here um there is also the energies of like young adults okay okay so what i'm seeing for some of you is for those of you who are like older okay <laughs> whatever older is to you because we got the emperor energy on the bottom i feel like a lot of there's a lot of young individuals who um, are very attracted to you all is what I'm seeing but then I'm also getting the energy of there's individuals here that talk about like how young you look okay so they could be saying that that you look very young you look very fresh um, I feel like for some of you they're saying that you got like work done on you okay so they could be they could be saying that you got some type of like cosmetic surgery or something and maybe that's why you look so young you look so youthful you look so fresh um, I'm also getting as well too that this could be individuals talking about the people that you're attracted to so they could be talking about the fact that you always are like attracted to people who are like very young okay young energies i feel like people want to know what your type is as well too so th these could be young individuals or like young adults that want to know um if you if they are your type i guess they're trying to figure out <laughs> what your type is so Whatever you're interested in, I feel like there's a lot of individuals who are interested in wanting to know like if they would be your type. <laughs> okay, so what I'm also seeing as well too is that individuals could say that you stay to yourself, that you're quiet, um, that you don't really open up a lot. I feel like there is something about your health that individuals are talking about okay they could be speculating that you like have some type of depression or something like that mm. okay um yeah i feel like someone's trying to speculate or diagnose you as to why you i'm hearing don't come out okay anyways um but I feel like people feel like you're kind of like standoffish, like they don't know how to approach you. I'm getting Beauty and the Beast energy. They feel like you're like the Beast or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm getting more energy about you being like very guarded. You're not transparent is what I'm seeing. So people could wish that you are more transparent, especially about your love life, because I'm seeing people want to know, do you have who are you the main lady of or who is your main lady in your life and then people just talk about how private and how secret you <laughs> private and secretive you are next okay next for those of y'all with significant placements of pisces in your birth chart we have the six of wands energy here so this could be uh i'm hearing strong leo energy in the birth chart um aries or sagittarius energy so fire placements strong leo we have the energy of scorpio here um 
we also have the energy of grandpa and then we also have someone who is going through um, a loss for some of you i'm getting that this could be your mother okay and i'm hearing that um some of y'all are not like talking to your mom right now So I feel like the individuals who has your name in their mouth, um, it would be individuals that you've cut these individuals off because I feel like you feel these individuals have not supported you in the manner that you need to be supported um, with whatever direction or that your life is going or the direction that like you just want to do things. I feel like for a lot of you, you feel like you've you can be successful doing things in the manner that you choose to and i feel like because you don't want to engage with taking the advice from certain people um and you've cut these individuals off that um th these are the individuals that that would be talking about you so i feel like a lot of you know who these people are already because you've blatantly just cut these people off you've chose to you know not deal with these individuals at least for this point in time um because it feels like they don't really support you your actions your activities or the direction that you're taking your life but i'm just seeing these individuals are just talking about um the new direction that you're going in your life i feel they feel you just are not making like really good choices um I feel these are individuals who feel like they have your best interest at heart and that you just are not taking their advice. You're not listening to them. You're not answering their calls. You're not returning their their text messages, the, their DMs. I just feel like these are people who are just really talking about the fact that um, you've kind of really just like went cold turkey or blocked a lot of these individuals out. And that's what they keep talking about. Um, I feel like they're just like you keep posting on social media, but you won't like return or answer their their communication that they're trying to reach to you some of these individuals as well too are saying that now because you've come into some type of significant amount of money um that essentially you've changed and so that that could be what you know they're talking about the fact that you know since you've i guess leveled up um financially that you don't bother with these people who you used to bother with before or you know or give the time of day or talk to um or allow these people into your life now it's like all of a sudden like you stepped into some type of wealth and you're like new phone number <laughs> and you just dipped on people and then there's also just the energy of people just trying to strategize and plot how to get like close to you to essentially have access to your resources okay all right next so we're taking a look at those of you with significant placements of aries in your birth chart we have the eight of swords here and this could be those with significant placements of air in their birth chart um so air um aquarius libra gemini um it also could be um someone who has other significant placements of aries Okay, so as far as the other zodiac signs, we have um, the zodiac sign of Libra here. So just reiterating that air energy. We have, you have um, friends and associates here. Okay. Um, you have coworkers, people in your industry. You have grandma or someone's grandma or your grandma. Um, females. We have someone's girlfriend. Um, we have husband energy here. We got little kids. We got middle-aged individuals, young adults. Um, there could be people who secretly admire you, um, but they wouldn't admit it. Um, married people. We have uncle energy here. And then I have water sign energy here. So it could be people who have significant placements of uh, cancer in their birth chart but um also pisces and um scorpio but i feel like these are people who are like emotionally abusive to you and these individuals talk about well <sighs> essentially they 
they they talk about the fact that you don't deal with them anymore but i feel like the reason is because these individuals emotionally abuse you okay um so i feel like these individuals are talking about the fact that essentially you just don't allow them to um like you don't feed into them or give them time or energy um anymore is what i'm seeing like i'm just seeing a lot of people who are talking about the fact that you don't talk to them but i see these are a lot of people who would like manipulate you especially emotionally a lot of these individuals i'm seeing they're these good people who have codependency issues okay i'm seeing there are people who talk about like your social status or your reputation or maybe like the way that you do things your values your principles your morals i feel these are people who feel like they know what's best for you and they always try to um steer you in the best way of doing things but what i'm seeing is um it's like these people want to limit you they want to put restrictions on you <laughs> yeah that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing just a lot of people kind of like bombard you with their opinions and their values and their principles it's like they don't want to hear whatever you have to say. They kind of just want to force their their opinions down your throat. They kind of just want you to shut up, listen, or just shut up and do what they say. That's just kind of the energy that I'm I'm getting here. It's like they don't want you to have an opinion for yourself. So in return, these could be people who just try to blame you um because you don't want to listen to them because you shut them out is what i'm saying so they might just talk about the fact that how you're very like stubborn you're very hard-headed and you don't listen um even though i feel like i'm seeing you kind of get ganged up on by these individuals is what i'm saying and then some of you all have some type of spouse or wife or mother energy here that's talking about how you're the one who got away. So I feel someone still has some type of like passion or flame for you. Someone could still be looking at you in a very like optimistic light. Maybe hopefully that the two of you will have another opportunity is what I'm seeing. So someone could be trying to, I guess, speak that into existence. Okay, so for those of you with significant placements of Taurus in your birth chart, we have the Ace of Swords. Very strong Gemini energy, Gemini placements, but it could be other air placements in the birth chart. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energies in their birth chart. Um, we also have the zodiac sign of Gemini. Aquarius and Aries okay and I'm here in Libra so yeah all the air signs okay so okay so for some of you individuals I feel like these these um, individuals are talking about like the reason why they stopped talking to you okay so they could be telling individuals like their side of the story as to why they don't fuck with you anymore and the things that you have done okay so i feel like these are individuals who feel like um whoever i guess you have talked to if, if the two of, if you and these other individuals like share mutual contacts or friends or maybe even other family members or associates i feel like these individuals are going telling these uh people um the real reason why they don't fuck with you okay so if you're saying that you cut them off these individuals are going saying no 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 they cut you off and here's the reason why okay so for some of you they could be saying that you are the problem um these could these are looking like individuals that you've had um intimate sexual relationships with in some manner so um these could be the individuals telling their side of the story about why they no longer fuck with you and i'm also seeing as well too that some of these individuals feel like that you are very um like toxic um 
they could feel that you're very like obsessive, like you have stalker tendencies, that you're very dominant. Um, for those of you who are females, they feel like you're very masculine um, or very, uh, what is that called? Um, like very dominant, very um, like a tyrant type of energy. But overall, yeah, that's just really the gist of what I'm seeing. They're, um, individuals are just essentially talking about why they're no longer with you, why they left you. They feel like they're given the truth of their side of the story. And they're also just saying that you're like very overbearing, domineering, um, greedy, and controlling is what I'm saying. So that's essentially what I'm saying. Next. Okay, and lastly, so those of you with significant placements of Gemini, we have the Four of Wands energy. So these could be individuals that have significant placements of Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their birth chart. We also have the Zodiac sign energy of Taurus. This could be a Taurus who you no longer talk to. Okay, um, I'm also getting familial energy. So these could be um, individuals in your family. Okay. So I feel like there are individuals who used to have very close, like, relationships with um friendships with as well too that um i feel like these individuals essentially just like miss i'm hearing like the camaraderie they miss the good times they miss um like having fun with you celebrating with you doing parties going to parties throwing parties with you and things of that nature for some of you this step very well could be someone who you were in a romantic connection with at one point in time or people who you dated um is what i'm getting i feel like it's people who want to know do you miss them um so it's almost like people who wonder like do you think about them these could be people who you haven't seen since like you were young or since you were a child and they want to know do you miss them um this also could be kids so if some of you have kids um i guess maybe if you haven't seen your kids your kids could be wondering um about you a lot of energy around like young energy youthful energy so these definitely could be um people as well too who you used to um like your siblings um maybe that you don't talk to anymore if you have kids that you don't talk to or people who just not who have not seen you since who have not seen you since you were a child or since you were a kid but i get more like of a nostalgic type of energy um around these energies i don't really see anything too bad that they're saying about you i just feel like they really just kind of miss your energy and your presence um but you seem to be kind of like you know guarded and protected so i feel like you know they pick that up they see that you don't want to deal with them that you don't like like it's like you avoid these people so they could talk about that as well too like how you avoid them okay and then for others of you, this could be individuals maybe who you have children with and they're talking about how you miss like significant milestones, um, significant um, dates and things of that nature of your children. Okay, they could be talking about that. So like you're not coming to, you're missing like birthdays or like graduations or like special moments, I guess, um, that would be happening. Um, that they would like for you to be there that could be what individuals are talking about as well too and then lastly what i'm seeing is um there could be individuals who try to like invite you out to like social events and social gatherings um i just feel like individuals feel like their their uh, invitations go like unanswered like you never rsvp you never respond um you never show up um, to any of the um, like outings or events that individuals invite you to but those are all the messages that I have for you um, I hope you enjoyed this if you'd like to book a personal session with me my website is www.divinelotustarot.com be blessed